The use of fossil fuels in industry and transportation is one of the biggest challenges in decarbonizing the global economy. These sectors account for more than a third of global greenhouse gas emissions. Direct electrification is not feasible for many sectors, such as heavy-duty road transport, shipping and aviation. Therefore, we need to exchange their feedstock with a green alternative. The solution is to utilise renewable energy to produce green hydrogen from the electrolysis of water. Green hydrogen can be used in its pure form as fuel or combined with carbon or nitrogen to produce sustainable e-fuels. The process is known as Power to X and it stands to be a key element in a cost-effective transition to a clean energy supply. In Denmark, a number of projects are already showcasing how this can be done. One of these projects is Brander Hydrogen, a hydrogen production plant in western Denmark, developed by Siemens Gamesa. In the project, an electrolyzer from green hydrogen systems is coupled with a 3 megawatt wind turbine. At the plant, a battery is connected to the wind turbine to provide grid services. The next part of the system is the transformer, and next to this is the 400 kilowatt electrolyzer, which splits water into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen exits the electrolyzer at 35 bar and enters a buffer tank for intermediate storage before entering the compressor station, where it is compressed to 300 bar. The compressed hydrogen is then filled onto a tube trailer for transport. The project tests the effect of a variable renewable energy source on an electrolyzer. Gaining a clear understanding of this is one of the most important steps to a future where large-scale green hydrogen production is possible, from, for example, wind power. Our next stop is the High Balance Project, operated by Air Liquid and located in the city of Holbro. The plant was one of the first European facilities to produce hydrogen by proton exchange membrane water electrolysis on an industrial scale. The plant has a 1.2 megawatt electrolyzer capacity, enough to power a fleet of more than a thousand hydrogen cars. The project has demonstrated that it is possible to store renewable energy in the form of green hydrogen on a large scale and deliver a stable continuous supply of hydrogen to different end users. The plant has also demonstrated how hydrogen production can help balance the electricity grid, as the production has been able to ramp up and down in less than 10 seconds. The project has in this way highlighted the flexibility and fast reaction time of a green hydrogen plant. We have now reached the third stop on our tour. We are standing at the University of Orbo in front of a green methanol test facility. We are going to look further into how e-fuels are created. The Danish Power to X company, Reintegrate, has developed a decentralized production technology that produces green e-methanol from renewable energy sources and sustainable CO2 captured from biogas plants. The founder of Reintegrate, Cern Knudsen, will take us through the process. The green hydrogen and the CO2 is mixed inside our methanol synthesis plant, which is here behind me. The gases are circulated in the process and ends up to the very right-hand side of me in a big reactor. Inside that reactor, we have some catalyst material that facilitates the reaction of CO2 and hydrogen into methanol. After being produced, the methanol is separated from the reactants and transported in a pipeline over here behind me and all the way to the right where it's stored for the end use. In the tanks behind me we have the uh, green e-methanol or what we like to call it uh, liquid electricity simply because it's a convenient and easy way to store electricity in a liquid form. The renewable methanol can be used in a number of different ways and it can facilitate the use of electricity in sectors that are not easily electrified. It can be heavy duty transport, shipping, and also in the production of green materials such as different types of plastics. We end our tour close to Copenhagen at the Evie Homa offshore wind farm to explore the future of renewable hydrogen production in 2030, a 1.3 gigawatt Power to X facility will lie here. 
and at least that is the vision of a group of leading Danish companies, including Orsted, Copenhagen Airports, AP Moller Mask, DSV Painalpina, DFDS, and SAS. They have all joined forces to make this a reality by bringing together supply and consumer side actors to overcome the chicken and egg problem of scaling production of new fuels in tandem with a matching demand. Their aim is to develop industrial scale production of renewable hydrogen and sustainable e-fuels for road, maritime and air transport from offshore wind energy. As you have witnessed on our tour today, Denmark is already proving that the practically unlimited renewable energy resources are ideally suited to powering renewable hydrogen production. And this could ultimately deliver the decarbonisation of the transport and industry sectors. Let's continue to inspire each other towards a more sustainable future. Thank you for watching.